My name is uh, Joseph McCarowitz. I'm a distinguished service professor in the Department of Environmental Science, and I'm also the director of the graduate program in the department. Uh, the Department of Environmental Sciences and Biology offers a master's of science degree in environmental science. Graduate students in the Department of Environmental Science and Biology work on a host of projects. They range from areas such as wetlands ecology, limnology of the Great Lakes, fatty acids and, and lipids in fish of the Great Lakes, and such areas that are on the conservation biology area, such as bird biology, um, plants associations, and things of that nature. In terms of the, the Masters of Science, most of our students are supported either through graduate assistantships, through funding from faculty who receive grants, or from a couple of teaching assistantships. One of the things that's unique about our program in terms of our students is that our courses or the courses the two students select are all determined by the content of their thesis. That is, we choose courses that fit their needs in terms of their thesis program. Graduate students uh, in environmental science and biology go on to a number of different positions uh, throughout the country. For example, we have students working at community colleges, government agencies such as the EPA, U.S. Department of Agriculture, New York Department of Environmental Conservation, and for private corporations such as Columbia Analytical, Ecology Environment in Buffalo, and many NGOs such as the Nature Conservancy. Uh, lastly, many of them go on for PhD programs. Requirements for the Master's of Degree in Environmental Science and Biology require a bachelor's degree in biology, environmental science, earth science, or even meteorology. We do not require GRE scores, but we do uh, welcome them if you have taken them. Uh, besides this, we do require a statement of objectives from all students. That is a written statement that comes to us. And finally, an example of their scientific writing. Uh, again, lastly, most students finish their thesis in two and a half years. It takes about one and a half years for students to do the coursework and another six to 12 months to finish up their written thesis. Faculty in the Department of Environmental Science and Biology all have their PhDs in biology and ecology. They work in such areas as aquaculture, fisheries, watershed modeling, wetlands ecology, and lake ecology. Most of them, and I probably should say all of them, have published in peer-reviewed journals. In fact, the, the, the count right now is about 240 in the past 15 to 20 years. From a research standpoint, faculty in the department have received over $14 million in grants in their careers. Uh, grants from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Environmental Protection Agency, National Science Foundation, NOAA, New York State DEC, and many others have, uh, have received grants from various organizations. These grants are important for all of us because they help fund graduate student research, but also provide the assistantships that students need to come to Brockport. Graduate students at Brockport, particularly in environmental science and biology, have ample opportunities to work out in the field. For example, just two years ago, two of our graduate students spent a whole week and a half working as interns on the EPA vessel Lake Gaudi on Lake Ontario as lab assistants and field assistants. This is just but one example of the many opportunities graduate students have to work in the field, to work with other agency, and to work with non-government agencies such as the Nature Conservancy. Graduate students from environmental science and biology have gone on to be vice presidents of companies, professors at various community colleges, professors at other colleges, work for many agencies. The opportunities here exist to make you a better person and a professional within your field.